Welcome back to your favorite podcast, Shots of Honesty. You didn't say it with me. Shots of Honesty, your favorite podcast, the number one podcast in the world. <laughs> y'all not, not going to ask me anything crazy, right? No, of course, of course not. not. We have a very special guest here. Um, guest, what do you go by? What is your name? What is Caesar your Instagram? Tool. Follow me on social media. At Can you I talk in the mic? They need to hear you. At I-M-C-A-E-Z. Okay, I go by Star Dawkins. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, um, wherever you want to follow me, except to my house at Star Dawkins. And you already know my name is Julian, but you can follow me on all social media. I hate Julian, aka I love Julian because we don't want to speak that evil. And you um, want to speak the evil into your life because I don't know why you would name yourself that, but okay. We went He's over had it for like. 15 years. And it's stupid. <laughs> and now he wonders why everyone hates him. It's not, everyone, because, not everyone. But a lot more people than when I he started. Work, I think it works in his favor. Mm, okay. Yeah. Don't see it working, but okay. It hasn't worked up until now. Mm, don't Would see you say it working. Do I see the decline because of his name. <laughs> Mm, I think it's all about energy on the rise. It's all about energy. Actually, mm. I think he would have risen more <laughs> if, risen. <laughs> if um, his name was I Love Julie. Shout, shout out mm. to my boy Caesar for uh, trying the, to defend you, defending, defending <laughs> me. Uh, shout out we, to Compound Miami for bringing us um, Jameson. Yeah, whiskey. You they know, got your girl on the whisk. Um, before we start off the show, um, do you want to say something about the whiskey? Uh, I mean, most I'm sure majority of people watching. I would assume have had Jameson before I in their life. You, you probably have. You went to you went to Florida State. Yes, but I wasn't drinking no goddamn. Jameson I was, is smooth. I was drinking that Alpha shit. Whatever my boyfriend mix up, that's what I got to drink. <laughs> that's it. That's free. Mm. Not Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> Which I was, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. If you never been to a frat party, I'm sure it wasn't Jameson. I think he was buying that white, you know, them white, cra uh, not crackheads, but the drunks that be out in the front of the liquor store that. It'd be like 90% liquor, alcohol. Everything was Hennessy and Patron. Everclear. Everclear. Ever and Smirnoff. Everclear. Smirnoff. That's what, if you went to college in, in the South, at least, I don't know about any other region, but they all the frats and all the all the parties they mix, they mix like the punches with the Everclear. Yeah. You guys remember the Four Loco? Yeah. Loved Four Loco. Yeah. But that was when I was in high school. I'm sorry, old man. I was a <laughs> high schooler, um, 2012. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> yes, it really is. It's it's very mm, cute. Mm. Very you could tell. Y'all see it. But, but yeah, um wait, when did y'all graduate high school? Oh, we graduated. That's somebody tapping at our door? That's not our door, y'all. No, that's not us. Okay. okay. I graduated oh eight, he graduated oh nine. The cute thing is, I was just I was just finishing middle school. I was in All eighth right. grade. I hate that. And then I was in no, ninth that's not grade. Cute. I hate when people so do that. I was in ninth grade. <laughs> no, I'm, yeah, I'm not, not old. Okay. I feel like, hmm, I'm sorry to go off into this topic, but I feel like when girls get a lot of heat for trying to date older guys, I think maybe we can understand more once the girl hits 21 because you're not that much older than us. So if I'm in the ninth grade and my nigga's about to go off to college, can you blame me? I no, I could blame him though. Why? If you Wait, it's the so it's the same thing. You said you're in ninth grade. Like you're so you college. graduated you graduated oh nine. Were you even eighteen yet? No. I wasn't Ex anymore. exactly. A lot of people graduate sixteen, seventeen, right? Now, if I'm in ninth grade, but how old were you in the ninth grade? I don't remember to be 14, honest. 13, probably. I started school one year late because I have a late birthday. So. so you were at 14. Okay, yeah. A 14-year-old dating a 17-year-old, to me, it doesn't seem bad. No, I was young in my in my grade. Typically, it's 18 and older. It's not okay. Well, when I was graduating old. at 18, <laughs> when I was graduating <laughs> at 18, yes, and it's called foolishness. This mm -hmm. is why. This is simply why. Remember, somebody created these laws that they made up in their brain. Now, it's a little far-fetched if you're fucking 25 years old trying to date a high schooler. What do y'all have in common? When you're 18, 
You get to college, you have less in common with the people in college. You got more in common with the people you just left high school with. Mental development. And yes, maturity. and a lot of times you niggas are not developed. Y'all barely be developed at 30. You can't compare the maturity and mental development mm. of a 14-year-old and an 18-year-old. I For just, a 14-year-old woman, and that is why most times these girls do want, don't want to date somebody that's in their grade. Because y'all be dumb. Y'all still be playing booty tag and hitting each other with towels at basketball games. It's stupid. But then, okay, so then I got I got an interjection. What about the older man who's just manipulating the, the younger girl? Okay, so this is where I'm saying I don't personally. This is just my feeling. Go ahead. My personal. You know we're feeling. talking about rape, right? At 17, 18 years old, dating a 14, 15 year old girl, I don't see it as a big. 17, 15. I, 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 that's not. That's different. Yeah. 18, 19, you, 13, Y'all said 14. I'm 14. Now, if the guy, you're, let's say you were 17 when you graduate. If I'm dating a 17-year-old at 14, I'm, I'm, I don't see the, the huge difference in the mental manipulation. When it's, scientists have showed that men mature slower than women. So it. I'm probably on the same page as you. Not even probably. Since I was a kid, it's always like, wow, you're so mature for your age. And it's not people trying to get at me. I can't hold conversations with niggas my age for real. I just can't. I don't know what to tell you. I don't. I didn't make the rules. Somebody decided to change the rules. I think it needed changing in the sense where I don't want. I don't feel like a twenty-one-year-old man should be dating a thirteen-year-old girl. But there, remember before America changed the laws, a eighteen-year-old could date a fourteen-year-old at eighteen. Am I lying? Y'all know American history or what? I don't know what law you're referring to, but I know right now. Okay. Okay. Well, I think it's retarded. Well, That's just my view on an 18 and 14 year old. When I was in high school, personally, I just personally, I was, I wasn't, I didn't mess with or attracted to no girls that was younger than me. Mm. I was the type of person I am. It was like I always you trying, want older. in my grade, not even old. Well, yeah, I had crushes on older girls, but like I wouldn't like pursue them, but. Like all the girls that I really like was involved with, quote unquote, in high school was my grade. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, I didn't date older guys in high school. You just speaking hypothetically or, or yeah. generally because a lot of girls did. Yeah, a lot of girls did. Facts. It, and- I remember. I remember the girls, and this this is more on his clan. They probably um like would date dudes out of high school or dudes that dropped out with the with yeah, the, I remember the dope, that, but the that dope was more boys. So when they were like 17, seniors. 18. Yeah, like Not true. Different. I don't I know. Like, I yeah, like maybe and guys, maybe they're, juniors, they're on their way out. 17, 18. I'm not sure if you know, in three so years t- things change that much differently it's from huge, y'all man. or That's four why or five. They set at, a, at 18. What I'm saying is I don't know if things change that much in four or five years, but I can tell you that by the time I was in 10th grade, however old you are in 10th grade, girls were dating guys outside of college. And that's not 17, 18 getting ready to graduate. And it's just, it's just how they, honestly, my friend was talking to an older guy. I was like, oh yeah, girl, it's lit. He could pick us up and bring us to the smoothie shop. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. I don't want this lunch anyways. <laughs> that nigga said, hmm. I don't want this lunch anyway. <laughs> Fuck this lunch. Oh, he on break from Broward College. Okay. Let's roll out. I, I just, I don't know. It's to each his own. I just think that sometimes with age, it, it, it might depend on your mental development. I, I don't know. That's just my view. So I know I know the viewers are, are watching or listening, and Caesar, he you know he's very straightforward about a book. So tell them more about yourself, and you know why why you think the way you think, and what you got going on for yourself. Um, so right now, as far as like what I do, yeah. All right. So right now, the last four years, I've been a prosecutor in Broward County. Um, I'm opening up my law firm this December, actually December first. Wait, talking to Mike, what you just said? I'm opening up my own law firm. December 1st, 2020. Ladies, y'all heard that? A black man, how old you is? 29. Young, 29-year-old man opened up his own law firm. Can we toast to that? Can we, we have can, a cheers to that? Can. Because that is Congrats. admirable. Congrats. What's Thank the name you. of the firm? CHR Law Group. Mm. So we're going to be doing, well, I'm going to specialize in criminal defense, personal injury, entertainment, but my firm as a whole is also going to do uh, corporate and civil litigation, business and real estate. Uh, yeah, I need a corporate lawyer because these bitches want to be me so bad and they need to stop. Please. Oh my God. <laughs> But it's like I'm waiting on a few of them because I know it's no point in paying you and they don't even got no money. So it's kind of like... Who don't got Whatever you need, I got you. The pe- so a lot of times with Cookie Wash, people people think Cookie Wash is the name for feminine hygiene. Mm-hmm. So I've had situations where people are making claims that they're selling Cookie Wash, but they're not selling my product. 
that's a trademark name. Don't play with me, hoes. I see what you're saying. Even certain designs, color schemes, like there is so much that goes into it. But it's no point in me coming after you because you don't have nothing for me to take yet. I rather like scheme, like watch you grow, do your thing, babe. As soon as you post that screenshot of Shopify, oh, fifty thousand dollars today. Or you could just get an injunction and stop them from doing it at all. Why? Why I can't just wait till they got some money and sit down? You not want to prevent them from making money off your brand. Mm. That would protect protect your brand more. Mm. You don't want people getting confused. That's why we don't have trade. I don't think nobody will confuse me. I th- I think it's real clear who the frauds are. <laughs> Anywho, um, y'all know we like to start a show with the game Shots of Honesty. We did it a little off today because um we got into some actually by the time details. by the time this airs, the game will be available. The game is so going right now, to be available. As y'all are watching, shotsofhonesty.com, you could purchase that. You can definitely How does this game work? So basically you're just gonna pull yeah. a card and we're gonna do two rounds. So you'll pull Shuffle. a card and read whatever the card says. Why we just can't keep it in the order? Because I think all the truth are on top. Yeah. So in the game, there's truth cards and there's dare cards. It's mostly focused around like relationship, love, and sex. Boom, boom, boom. Um, <laughs> so it's just going to be basically that. And the dare cards, they have a lot of different things in them. Oh, my nigga calling me. Oh, damn, I can't go in the house and act crazy. <laughs> Babe, I'm filming. I'm filming, baby. Call you later. Bye. I'm a loyal girlfriend. See, y'all? Get you a girl that's going to answer even on the job. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Avoid Libras. Libras. I'm Libra sorry. women or Libras all all together. All together, Hold on. boy. We my love, mom, we my love mom is a Libra. My mom a Libra too. I, I'm a, I'm we offended. love we love Libras. Shout out October third. I love Li- <laughs> I, I love. I, don't get me wrong. I love Libras like as homegirls because y'all life be lit. <laughs> if you want to have some fun, hang out with a Libra. She finna. But it's lit. you got a biased opinion. You're a Scorpio, so it's a little biased. Um, no, because there's other signs that I would deem appropriate. Like, there's certain signs, like, if my homeboy tell me, like, oh, yeah, I'm dating. So-. I'm like, mm, I don't like that for you, friend. And other signs, I'd be like, I love that for you. That's a great sign for you. So do you do you make that decision based off what he is? I make it based off of your sign and, yeah, and kind of like how you are. Like, if he's a Gemini, I would say, yeah, you could work with a Libra. So you believe in Zodiac signs heavy? Factual. And you're saying that you've never been with someone who was a zodiac sign that you're not compatible with. I have been with it. Mm-hmm. And so how do you explain that? Here's the thing. It didn't fucking work out. It was so stressful. And I and that's kind of what made me get into zodiac signs. Like I was always into it, but then I'm like, this is not it. So I started reading up me and Aquarius, which is like February, and boy oh boy, if you're a Scorpio, leave them Aquariuses alone. They want space, and you know we don't want that. We want to be like, love you. Like, hi, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Okay, so I'm going to pull the card first. Oh, you first. So we're going to go this way. Yeah. I can pull my card from now? No. no oh, wow. so- <laughs> Damn. Caesar Andy, is so Andy. eager to play. <laughs> okay. So my card says, just be honest. Have you ever fantasized about someone in this room? And the answer is no. Okay. Oh, see, that was easy. Right. So... Ooh. If if her answer was yes, she would have, have to, to take, take a, a shot. shot. Okay. For the truth questions, if your answer is yes, you you do have to take a shot. Hmm. Speaking to the mic, let them hear. Just be honest. Have you ever felt insecure of any of your partner's friendships? No. Never. never. So you your your girl never had a homeboy. I'm not insecure at all. Hold on, not even a little bit. So, so now, has now we got, your girl we ever had it. a homeboy? Do you date girls that have, are your uh, girls allowed right, so to have guy friends? In order to understand my answer and for it to make more sense first, we need to break this down, right? Go. I've only been in one relationship. Okay. And mm-hmm. it lasted three months. <laughs> so, um, has my girl ever, whatever, 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 it doesn't really apply. But in general, usually when I'm talking to females, um, I'm not really insecure about anything. I feel like people are going to do what they want to do regardless. You know, your insecurities don't affect the relationship in any type of way other than to hurt it. And push them away. But you're I also... I think it also has to do something like if you believe in yourself and you're confident in yourself, then there's not really that much to be insecure about. But that's just me. So here's where I yeah, think I the problem some, lies. I got some questions. Go ahead. Talk to me. The problem lies in your three-month relationship, Yeah, you've never friend. really been in a relationship. Yeah. I, I feel that it's easy to talk the talk when you haven't walked the walk. Mm. Because... That's I, co- valid, that's I completely agree with the fact that insecurities just cause more issues. Mm-hmm. But I think I think I explained this on a previous episode. Like, 
I'm not insecure of my guy having female friends. It's not because I think you're going to do something with them. It's just because of certain things that I think is respectful. And it comes off as insecurity, but it's just, I don't like that. Like, don't do that. Okay, so I have some hypothetical questions. Go ahead. Let's say you were in a long-term relationship. Okay. Currently or in the future or whatever. Like Star was saying, would you be okay, hypothetically, if if your partner, your girlfriend had a male best friend? I have a female best friend. I'd be fine with that. I don't think there's a problem with that. I, it's more so trust for me. You know, if I ever have to question the trust or I don't trust her, I think that's more so the issue. But her That's having, what I, to, I told yeah, Julian that. Or having a female uh, male be- best friend, what does that mean? I okay, don't th- as I'm long against as I don't that. Think no, she, she's against it. Oh, well, as long as I feel they're not doing anything and I trust her, I mean, but, there's no Okay, problem. but so here's my question for you. You're saying as long as you feel. Now, when you're with somebody long term, sometimes you feelings feel different ways. get distorted. And not just the long term. Remember, we're all raised differently. So, for example... Some people see, if you're Hispanic, kissing on the side of the cheek, that's normal. Now, if I'm dating a nigga from Pompano, he don't realize <laughs> oh a Hispanic. Said, oh, my God. And a Hispanic, he, he don't realize I was raised by Spanish people because I just look like a black girl. Every nigga I meet, hola, the fuck is you kissing niggas for? That, you said that's your best friend. Why are you kissing him? Here's the thing. I have a female. Mm-hmm. Best friend. Best friend. Mm-hmm. Any girl I talk to. Can I ask if, if y'all you, are platonic? Yeah, go ahead. After any 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 girl I talk to has to be okay with that. And any guy she talks to has to be okay with that. To the point where she'll even introduce me to them. We become friends. Okay. Are we platonic? Absolutely. So I'll tell you this. In college, I had another female best friend. You actually know who it is. But um, she's married now, but... In college, I had a female best friend, and I learned. Stay on top. I learned the boundaries. <laughs> I learned the boundaries that are required in order for men and women to be best friends. Okay, right. No. And this hold is on. what he's I was saying. He's about to, he's about to me, listen. Let me okay. break it down. Break it down. Here's the difference. My current female best friend right now, from the inception of our relationship, we were always best friends. I never tried to get at her. It wasn't anything like that. The best female friend I had in college. I tried to get at her. She turned me down, and then Y'all I was forced friends. to be friends. And then, it was by force. It was a relationship. Yeah, by force. and now we were literally platonic for like three years, but it then built up into something more. And, and for me, on my part, because it, it was, was built off of like it was always that I wanted her, but I was you just putting, playing your part exactly, you know. Yeah. And then we did stuff like we called each other best friends, but you know, we would we would cross some boundaries. Not that to say we would do anything, but we were just too comfortable. And like, see, yeah. my best friend now, like, she can't change in front of me. I'm not gonna change in front of her. Like, Yo, I'm not, that's like, crazy. Like, the, she, the I'm way, compatible with Virgos. No, that's but, why he. Here, no, here's the thing. So the way, if it's a female best friend or a female, uh, a male best friend, it got to be like brother and sister. Like my sister can't change in front of me. I'm not gonna be in the okay. city. Like, okay. My see, not that, be- see, that's the weird part. This, this is where you lost me. Hmm. This is what I was saying in the conversation. I'm, I was, I'm on point. With, with what I was saying. saying. I was saying this. I said, the reason why I feel like men and women cannot be friends is not off the basis that they can't be friends, but the friendship is never going to be the same. Like, as what your friendship with with Julian, let's say Julian was your best friend. That's not true. My female best friend, I see her as the homie. No, 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 no. Can you listen? When I say the friendship is never going to be the same, it's little things like you're saying there's boundaries in a female best friendship. There are fewer boundaries in a male best friendship because attraction is not an option unless you're gay. And if you're not gay, the attraction factor is not there. So if y'all change in the same room, it's not a thing. There are no less boundaries than that of a sibling, though. No, because I change in front of my boy cousin. Like, I don't, maybe we're just poor and it wasn't enough room in the house. I don't know. You know, you know, it's different. You're not about to be butt booty naked changing with your brother in the room. Okay, but like, this is where I say, this, this <laughs> unless is, you do that. No, but this is where <laughs> I say, this is where I say how people are raised come into play. I personally don't do that, but I know a girl, she's from Palm Beach, but her family's Italian. <laughs> you're, you, listen, you're no, using listen. Outliers, like we're listen, talking about majority. Okay. No, listen, I'm just saying. We can speak on majority of what we know, but I'm just saying people come into contact with all different types so of people. So let's talk about what we know. You know, no, but it's not fair because we have naked. viewers. You I know do. Who I do. Booty naked in front of I do siblings. know. I do know a girl like that, and she was defending her life on Instagram. And I was like, "Girl, but why? Why you got to be naked in front of your brother? Like, does it matter?" And she was saying, "That's the problem. The way I'm raised and the way y'all raised, we and don't think nothing's you, wrong." You know, a lot of people like that. 
No. Exactly. But if you so, meet if you meet a person like that, I wouldn't want your relationship to be ruined. But you're using an exception and trying to justify it mm-hmm. for the whole. I that's am. Not the, I am. That's, yeah, because there's the, lots of exceptions so, in the so, world. Okay, but that's not the reality of the majority of the Actually, situation. how can we say that's not the reality of the majority? Do you because know the majority? They're, they're, no, but look. Yeah, the majority of people do not do that. Do you know them? Yeah, majority, Would you like to take a survey around the world or in America you know or find, what? You know what are the find, stats you know, you're speaking on? The you majority know how you of find whom? The majority, you take a sample size. Mm-hmm. For example, let's say who's the ask, sample? Let's say we ask ten people. Everybody you know, everybody you mm-hmm. know, everybody I know. Like you just said, you know a few people. I know a few people. How many people do you know? Oh, you get it passionate. So we hear it in your voice. Yeah, so that mm-hmm. becomes the majority. Okay, well I'm talking about the majority in the world. I'm talking about the majority in the world. The majority in the big wide world that we all have access to, thanks to Instagram and all of that. So all I'm just saying is, outside of getting naked, I don't know how you feel about this with your best friend, but something I pointed out to Julian, when I'm single, I could chill with the homies till like three in the morning. Like y'all playing video games, we're just chilling, eating, talking shit, whatever. But if I'm in a relationship, I know my boyfriend is not going to like that. Would your girlfriend approve of you hanging out with your best friend? Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's not I mean. I don't see it as a... It depends what your relationship is. We've always been platonic. She's literally like... The I don't care if you're that platonic. You're not hanging out with Susie at 3 a.m. That would be a problem if you were my girl. Mm. <laughs> I love how smooth... Yo, yeah. it, it doesn't he remind you of Don Hot? Don Hot he is does. like, yeah, well, they, they I'm not it. eating pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so He's, like, I, mean, I guess you're going to have a problem. Yeah. I don't know what to yeah. tell you. Don't date no Scorpio. That's it. Don't date a Scorpio. I think it's your turn to pick a car. It is. So you ain't even had to take a shot because your answer was no. Yep. See? <laughs> it's not that bad though, right? What? The game? The, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I think we got to shuffle ideas. some more though, but my, my question is, just be honest. If your partner gave you a pass, would you act on it? We know you would, Julian. You might be wrong. Okay, no, Julian. He finna say the old him. Watch. <laughs> not even. Yeah, no, fuck that. I am going to say that. The old me mm-hmm. would act on it, but the new me, I would be so skeptical of yeah, I would think why am I getting this pass? I think it's a setup. I don't that, like you that get what old. I'm saying? I, I guess I'm more you aware. Why do I get a pass? Pass for what? Why? Yeah, like where is this coming from? That That's, you feel me? I got to see that it's coming from a genuine place. Like, No, this is not fucking court. I don't got to prove shit to you. Do you want to pass or not? It's not that simple. It is. Why are you making it complicated? Because somebody could give me a pass. Look at you. <laughs> somebody could give you a pass and then use it as leverage later down the line. So and you can cut it off like he did. You you gave a pass. <laughs> I'm not I'm not as firm as you gave a pass. <laughs> Why, what are we talking about? You gave a pass. Get out the room because you're annoying me. <laughs> but I'll be on, I'll be honest. Yeah. My my answer is probably yes. It's more more yes than no, but it's not a hundred percent yes. So I'll take a shot. Who would you use the pass on? I would. Where would being you go? Me, being me, I would use the pass with Together. her. Together, I knew you. Were, I knew you get what I'm saying? That's what I would do. Yeah. What if she don't want to do it with you? I'm saying that's that's what I would offer. You would prefer that anyway. Just a question: Would you be in a relationship with a woman that's not into women? She's into you. She's all into you. Number one fan, supporter, anything you need, cook. Could ball with you, could 2K, but does she game with does you? she appreciate women? Like, not she doesn't have to be a lesbian or like sexually. She does not want to, no, that's fine, but she appreciates the beauty of a woman. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm saying, does she appreciate the beauty of a woman? What does this mean for you? What you're not into, behavior? you're not into women. No, I think I'm into women more. I cannot say that I'm not into women. I've done threesomes. The, what I'm saying is I don't want to eat pussy and scissors. Okay, so I've said this a so billion by, times. By Julian but, standards, you're not into women. Oh, <laughs> so so for me, by your standards, I just appreciate women. Yes. Because I think if I compare it to... Mo- uh, well, I don't even want to say most because I don't know most people. Anywho, um, <laughs> she, she was about to, she had to cut herself. Out, so. I just, I just would say that I more than appreciate women. I, I okay. act on a few things. I get what you're saying, but that's what I'm trying to understand. But no, the question you asked me was into women. So by my standards, what into women means is that like, like you're sexually active or have been sexually active with women. To me, that's into women. Okay, right. So a girl that's not she, she doesn't want to kiss a girl. She yeah. doesn't. She doesn't want to lay in I bed. I wouldn't prefer that, but, but, but I could. Mm-hmm. But I'm mature enough. Would you cheat on her? I mean, 
I would hope not. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just asking. I don't because know. I know I know I can't I can't I don't know who that is because okay. who I'm in love with is that like I've never Say that again. I said who I'm in love with is into women. Oh, I like that for you. I love that. Love Are great. you into women? What? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> What? We're talking about being into women. I said I'm yeah. not. He is. He is. Do you have to date somebody who's into women? No, no, no. Okay. Do the person you date have to be down for like threesomes, any extra shit in the relationship that you require? I mean, not something I really require, but if she is, the better. Okay. That's good. That's how, that's how I see it now. It's not a requirement. Yeah. It used to be. Yeah. I, I think up. in an earlier clip you I said that's up. like a. Nah, I grew up. I grew you up. pick. So should I pick a card or? Yes, yeah, back on you. I just had to shuffle it. Okay. Ooh. What do I do? I picked up two on accident. Pick one. Don't look. Cheating ass. She already looked. I, okay, fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a shot. You can't well, read it out loud. Why? Why? Come on. You gotta read it. <sighs> Now, let me not say that before. I <laughs> you all got to read it. <laughs> you already said the rules, friend. Just be honest. Have you ever tried anal play? And I'm not going to answer. I'm just going to take a shot. Because if you don't answer, you take a you shot. You know what I don't like about this game? What? If you equivocate or don't answer, you're essentially saying yes to whatever it is. That's mm. That would be an assumption. It's an I assumption mean, so at that if, point. If it was no. You would say no. Because what if I don't yeah. want to seem lame around you yeah, two or freaks? Yeah, or crude or something. <laughs> Who said? You, out of everything you said? <laughs> um, but what if I don't want to seem... Well, he said his sign. I know if you're a freak by your sign. Simple as that. Virgos are freaks? Way nasty. Scorpios are freaks? So is Leo's. Who's not a freak? I feel like everybody freaks. No, I don't think all Hold of them Hold on, what? he about to cheat. He's trying to put his card back in. What does it say, friend? Says, um, to the mic. Send a nude to an ex. You can take a shot if you. I mean, being that I've had one ex. Um, you still got her number? We ain't doing that. <laughs> Do you got her number though? We're not doing that. <laughs> so take your shot. Of course. You can. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I got that card last week. <laughs> yeah, that was wild. Like, I can't well, do it's that. It's a whole new relationship, too. Oh. Ruin it. Ruin it. <laughs> I'd look crazy. I wouldn't do it regardless though. Oh, that's nice. Is it? What's nice about it? Um, I think it's nice that you value yourself enough not to send yourself to people you're not romantically with. Wow, did you practice that answer? No, I'm an actress. That I can improv. I like this to you. This one's good. The professional? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Wait a second. Pay for something on sweet cookies. Out. Oh, don't don't skip that. Last time don't, we skipped. Nah, it. nah. This, but this is this time. The card game is out now. Don't Yo, skip. Sorry, bro. Malik, the light cut off me. Well, they could see. I, they I, could see. I, I'll still do that, but I'm saying for the sake of well, keep the card near to you. Participation of the game. Mm -hmm. Don't be trying to skip out on. Did you get? Oh, it's only two cards, though, right? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be honest. What's the most annoying thing about your partner? You got this last time, mm -hmm. so I got it this time. Um, Don't say that she thinks I'm a liar, cause you are. Here you go, Leo's. I would say, why can't why can't that be my answer? Mm -hmm. It's like you know my answer. Told y'all I'm psychic on the last episode, but y'all ain't believe me. But go ahead. I would just say that she doubts me. Okay. I have a, as far as what? As far as like, like she always feels like I have an ulterior motive. You okay. get what I'm saying? Like, I have a question. Do y'all as men feel, feel more like, I don't know if the word is manly or feel more connected to a woman when she believes in you? I mean, I think it does something for our ego. Yeah. Belie yeah. But when you say believes, in, you mean like your dreams and your- No, goals. just believes in you. Like- like, my nigga gets it done. Like, whether it's exercising, whether it's just lifting up the, a certain amount of groceries. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, little things. But how do you show that you believe in them? Like, like with those examples that you get? Like, okay, so for the grocery example, if we're picking up, let's say it's 10 bags, mm -hmm. and my boyfriend's like, I got it. And I'm like, you're just not going to carry all that. Give me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Versus if I be like, okay, you got it. All right. 
like you saying does that do something for you? Yeah. yeah. Is that is that is does it make you feel more connected to a woman? Is what I'm asking. I wouldn't say connected. Yeah, connect, connected isn't the right word. I would say it. It just adds to my ego. Yeah. It's just the ego. Truthfully, thing. But I think it goes both ways too. Yeah. When, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, think I it's agree. A people that. thing. Mm. I don't know. Does it not for you? I think it only matters if you believe in my like dreams. Don't believe in my abilities. You see me struggling with this can and I said I could do it. Please come take the can from me. Yeah, but in your situation, it would never be a can though. It would be something else. No, but it believe. would because I do be doing dumb shit like that. No, I could open it. And then my brain like, nigga, please don't make me break my nail open it. Please just Yeah, take that's it. what I'm saying. You do it as a test. No, it's not as a test. It's just like my ego. Like, I don't want to say I need help, but I really do. Like, please help me, babe. So uh-huh. so basically we're acknowledging that w- women have egos too. Mm-hmm. Because I know egos always get attached to males. I think women do have egos. And I think sometimes we like when... We kind of like when a man kind of breaks it a little bit sometimes, depending on the subject. Depending on the woman. Yeah. But True. Go ahead. Elaborate. Why? Like how? The, like the girls I know, I think a conversation in our group chat the other day is kind of like, damn, doesn't it feel good? Like, even when you tell a nigga, like, you don't need him, his help or you don't need him, and he still comes through and still does it for you. That's, where, that would be considered breaking your ego? Yeah. It's kind of like, I'm, I'm big and bad. I got it. And he's like, no, you don't have to have it. I got it for you. Versus I never see a man be like, oh, thanks, babe. You really, like in the groceries example, we're going to say. Mm-hmm. I never be a man. Most of things like, man, I told you I could have carried it. Like well, yeah, when you, this but, challenge thing y'all have. But especially when it comes to anything physical, of course, a man in a relationship with a woman I, I would say, like, I don't know most people, but. <laughs> I would hope. <laughs> most men. Are going to like take on that challenge? That's why I said that that was that's not the best example. Yeah, for for, for women, for I've, a woman's ego, like. Because- so I've been with somebody before that um allowed me to do some physical stuff, and I just felt like he was a little bit more feminine for me. Like he just was too. Ch- I guess you could use the word I don't know, chill. Maybe it's or- like I feel like men are supposed to do certain things. Yes, gender that's, roles. Yeah, like I do. Just, you know, I believe in gender roles. Like if we're driving to like. Tampa, five hours. Like I'm drive. not gonna let her drive. I'm not gonna let my girl drive. You know, and, that's and not even... I know men that yo, let their girl tweet. do that. No, <laughs> yo, nah. I saw a tweet. I saw a tweet that was like, um, uh, if if I was in a relationship, like I would never let my woman drive. Period. Like, mm, that's like, extreme. Ever drive? Period. But like, there's there's been times where I've been dead ass tired, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that's an extreme. Right? Yeah, yeah, I like, think that's extreme. Like, okay, or let's dead use, ass let's, drunk or dead ass. Drunk. Let's use the 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 one pump the gas. No, I'm not gonna. If I'm if I'm with her, even if it's not my girl, I'm not gonna let a female pump her gas. If I'm with her, yeah, I don't do that. So you've never let uh, you let girls pump the gas? Not Not intentionally. Not intentionally. No. So you do it. I didn't say it's intentional. You've done it. And okay, I'm not. I can't say that a woman has never pumped gas that I've been with. I can't say. Okay, this is what I'm saying. But there's reasons why. It's not like I I didn't. If she pumped the gas, how about that? To my knowledge, because I know y'all like to call me out. I was not just sitting in the car like while she pumped the gas. That means I went inside to pay for it and she was already ahead of me mm-hmm. pumping the gas yeah, I mean, or something. Yeah. And I'm you not didn't just, walk up and say, I got it? Of course, but I'm just saying it's never been a situation. I think I, you're lying right now to cover oh your my ass. Gosh. But it's okay. I'm you do correct, that. No, correct me if I'm wrong. You I'm probably have let somebody come pump the gas. And but no, what, not, here's what you said. Oh. The word you said was intentionally to start off with. But here's what I want to say. If you are a guy that has let a girl pump the gas, there's certain little things that I think chivalry or just certain manly things, some men are not taught to be overly aware of. So it's easy for it to slip by. Like if the girl is driving that day because she picked you up. Let's say you was playing ball. She's like, babe, I'm kind of going to come scoop yeah, you. I'm not going to make her get out. And e- exactly. Out. She's going to drive and let's say she needs gas. She pulls over, she jumps out and she's getting the gas. Yeah. You're, you have ADHD or whatever you say you have. And you're in your phone oh, that's doing never something. Happened. That's I'm I'm okay. speaking hypothetically okay. for men. Go ahead. You're in your phone doing whatever you're doing. Right. And when you look up, you're like, wait, why are you pumping the gas? I would have got it. Okay. But it's already happened. So I'm just saying for a lot of guys, if you don't have certain things instilled in your brain, like uh, I see a lot of shit slide. Like 
that I'd be like, why is he letting that girl do that? But I don't think they're doing it on purpose to be like assholes. Right. Could you agree? Could you disagree? That's what, that's what I was saying. Okay. But the times I could think of that come to mind when a when a woman has been pumping the gas is usually that I went inside to pay and I came outside and I'll have to check your references, but okay, oh we'll God. leave it. I mean, we'll leave it there. hilarious. <laughs> but you don't believe in all gender roles. Like, Pretty much most of them. I really don't want to work, but hey, it's a hard knock life. <laughs> See, talk about it. That's, that will never happen. <laughs> <laughs> my they wife, all say this. Listen, my wife is not going to be the type of wife that just stays home, cleans, cooks, and watches. No, I don't want to clean and cook. I'm not the fucking nanny either. Um, <laughs> so what, what do you? <laughs> how the fuck you want me to have energy for dick if I'm cleaning and cooking all day? No. Um, th- here, here, here's I what I will. Here's here's what I will say. The reason why I say I per I personally don't want to work like when I'm in a relationship, and I think. But you work. I do work, but listen, listen to what I'm saying. And men always, when I say, it, be like, no. Until you're with me and you see the value that I bring to your life mm-hmm. when I can be your woman. Like, my attention can be on you and can be on certain things that you, endeavors you have going on. When I say work, I mean, like, I don't want to have this whole empire that I'm running by myself. I'd rather assist my man, to be real. Like, just just to be I honest. I don't, I don't like that. Um, Hold on, but wait, before, because I know you're about to say some rush. So you're saying the empire that you built... Right now, you would give. No, it's too late. Oh, okay. Y'all, okay, okay. You, you, nobody married me before I did all of this. Okay, <laughs> I just, I was just clarifying. Yeah, but you were just wh- saying if it was up to you. Yeah, and honestly, my goal is to try to have my company on like auto, where you don't have to. Actually- yeah, so I can pay more attention to my family. You get what I'm saying? Like, especially for me, like, okay. Family, yeah, but you if are. you have your own company or business or whatever and it's on auto and you're making money, that's not per se you not working. You're mm-hmm. still contributing. What I'm to saying is if I didn't have this, if I didn't have this money, I would rather literally, like, okay, when I used to date say an athlete. Ideal, say your ideal life. When I used to, when I used to date an athlete, in my brain is this. All right. Um... <laughs> I love how he's geared up there. Yeah. I, I, no, and I'm going to be transparent. Go ahead. All right, cool. My man's going to be making money. I can just help him find more ways to make more money. If I'm not making that type of money, why would I sit on the clock at somebody else's job to bring in, what, $50,000 at most? I don't even have a I master's degree. Would, that wouldn't be what you're doing. But look, here's the problem. You're just, mm-hmm. you're just, What's the problem? Just, just the There's nothing like an independent female who's with mm-hmm. a man because she wants to be with him, not when she needs him. Here's the problem a lot of females mm-hmm. have. When a female is not independent and she's relying on an, another man, he has control over her. She's dependent on him. And mm. that's why they're able to do whatever it is they want while she's stuck with him. That's, so, that's a huge so problem. Here's, so here's the thing. And most females are like, so they don't want to work. They just want to so stay here's at home. The thing. They don't want to so do anything. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. When you say most females are like that, I think sometimes we have to go back into understanding femininity and masculinity and what's just in our true nature. So it's great to be independent. You know, you don't want to seem like a leech. Let me let me say, and that's not for everybody. That's just what I want. Yeah. And I only know because I, I see how my parents are and because of what I want. You know, I want, I feel like a power couple is not two people that look good together, but two people who are independently successful who come right. together to contribute. Right. So I also want my female to be just as powerful and successful as I hope to be. Right. And we come together. So, and, and, this is, and this is what I mean. It's kind of like when I say contributing, um, I don't want to use this example because I don't really know what she do. But it's like if you have money, let's say you're an athlete, you have money, and I start you a brand, obviously, I well, let me not say obviously, I would hope. Yeah, we got to be careful with the definitive words. I would hope that my man is paying me out of it. It's because, quote unquote, it's his company. So basically, you're his secretary in a sense. Yeah, if you'd call that, but I would obviously hire a secretary. I'm just the overseer of everything. I lot, start the things. I watch does. the trends. A lot of men do that for control. They'll have a female who has their own business, has everything going for her, wants to work, make her own money. They get into a relationship. Oh, no, you don't have to work. You don't have to do anything. And it allows them to control them. No, oh, you word, see, you act but up, what well, is, guess what? But, I'm not giving you money this month. I'm but not what doing is, this what is the definition? Stuff. What is the definition of you saying like, it allows them to control them or you don't have to do anything. If they're financially supporting them and they don't have any money of their own. And it's like it's it. like that's your child. Like Literally Same way your, your parents, used to, your parents oh, used to say, oh, you like, want to do something and you don't have any bread and he, 
the only your only source of money is him. So, How is that not so? Control? This is what I'm saying. Why would your only source of money be him when you should he, be he's, no, he's paying that no, her? Paying her for what? You because she she's, is, she's doing shit for you. Are you are you listening to what no, I'm saying? Listen, what is on. she gonna do for me? Let me interject. Okay. It's like mm-hmm. it's like when I was like 15, and I had. Look, I don't want I, my wife being my secretary. <laughs> okay. Or like running errands. So, oh, you, no, no, no. Like, the, and that's what I just told Julian. I said, not necessarily a secretary, but an overseer. So like, for example, me, I would rather say to my husband, listen, let's put some money in this because this is going like this. You break me off every time. I mean, if we're in business together, that's one thing, but I still want my... My girl have her own thing going why, on. Why why can't career, you just both success. have joint businesses? She's gonna if she's not a have a, if she doesn't have a law degree, what what's she gonna do? Okay. <laughs> Maybe she can take your law money to turn it into something else. That's, Maybe that's completely separate and apart. If, if I'm investing in my girl for her to start her own business, but that's what that I'm saying. It's, it's not necessary. Not what I'm saying is it's, going on. when I said I rather assist my man, I literally mean I'm not coming up with the funds for nothing. It's our business like i assist you like we work together to build shit now let's say with your law degree now, let's say this you your have law to differentiate because mm-hmm. she, it's getting it's getting confused okay confusing. go ahead if i am investing in my girl to do whatever she wants to do that's not her not working okay but if my girl is staying at home doing nothing he was talking about the extreme yeah he like and that's why that. i was yeah. like and ain't and nobody gonna stay a lot at home of, a lot of girl what do you mean I said, literally I'm for me. there are a lot of women who just live their life even if they don't have kids, just staying at home, shopping, doing whatever off the dime of their man. Yeah. If they have kids, they're staying at home, taking care of the kids, shopping, doing the same thing. Right. You know, so, I don't want that. So I agree with that. Her to whatever. Yeah, way. so y'all are agreeing. We're agreeing. We're just saying it in different ways. Because I get what you're saying. I'm not saying I would. my ideal life is to be a stay-at-home wife. I get bored easily. That's why I don't want to sit home and cook and clean. i rather you... Use me as a tool to invest your money, but it's not like, she oh, wants, it's my she want, company. She wants to be an asset. She yeah, wants, she it's not like, oh, see, asset. this is my fucking money, my club. No, it's like, okay, this is our company. As soon as I delegate a manager that's running smooth for five years, sees, okay, look, this is going good, but I have this new idea. Can you? But that would be considered working. Right, yeah, but yeah. W- but what he said is have her own. And what I'm saying is I prefer to just be a part of you. Like, we could just build stuff together. I mean, that comes down to the individual relationship. Mm. I mean, we could go into business together, or, I mean, what if I don't want part of your beauty salon? <laughs> I don't want to run it, but I'll give you the money. Yeah, but I, what, if, what, if I don't, what if I don't want to just do it by myself? Well, then have somebody start the business with you. I'm investing in the business. I don't have to be part of the business I'm investing in. Mm. But here, to but, bring everything full circle, okay. when I when I'm talking about independent, I, that's fine. That's part of independence too. Provided you're working, provided you're doing something, provided like you said, being an asset or contributing. But a lot of women don't want to do that. I'll go on a date with a girl, and she'll literally tell me, "Yeah, I just want to stay at home and watch the kids cook, clean." And that's the most unattractive thing to me. Now, for some mm, people, that's it's okay. beautiful, but and especially some men. Some men like controlling women. And that's fine because then it puts them in the position where they're dependent on them. But do you want to know something that's funny? That ego that goes back exactly. to the ego it's thing. It's all control. Ego. Do you want to know want- something that's funny? As as if Finuck. Me and some of my other <laughs> friends that I would say we Take make we make shot. good money. We're talking to a group of ladies who were saying, "Okay, what do you do in that situation? Where what, your which situation? situation with the one you said where your partner just wants you to live off of them? Like what? What do you do when what your man? You do? What does the woman do when your man is saying he got it and you're nervous because?" You've always been raised to be independent. What do you do in that situation? Because you're scared he might control you. And stick to what you should stick to what you know. And my my whole thing is, I feel like everybody has to do what feels best to them. That's number one. I Outside agree. of the schematics of things, you must stay true to what feels best for you. If staying at home feels best for you, sees is not the man for you. Right. Find a person that is like that. Because, like he said, there's tons of men. There's tons, tons of men, of men that's like that. Mm-hmm. And secondly, I then think again, some men want that. A yeah, lot of, a lot. Of, mm-hmm. Let me not Most that. wealthy men do. <laughs> most wealthy men do. I think I'll agree with you on that. Oh, whoa. So what does most mean now? I think do you know every single man. Yes. In America, in yes. The world? Yes. Oh, I read their interviews. <laughs> I, I read their. I read their interviews. They said it. I heard them. You read every single wealthy. Every man. every mm. everyone. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But um, the next point I wanted to make is sometimes as women we think getting the bread um takes away some of the control the man is gonna have. And while it takes away certain, it does. Shit, it, it, it balances the leverage. 
I, I wouldn't always say that. And that's going to go into what your um, Instagram story said. Yeah. Because sometimes when you're dating like a super alpha male, like certain shit is just still not going to slide. Like Even Julie, if you was making more. Julian even- said last week, why is my girl going to an NFL football game and you don't even fucking watch NFL? And she's like, because I'm just going with my girls. I got my money. I don't need your money. Still, I don't care whose money you're using. You're not going to that. See, I'm not that guy. No, but... And just that's to, okay. No, I'm just, just using clarify, an example. I didn't. I never said she can't go. I, I know. I was just questioning why she's going. Right. Why are you going? I'm right. saying if, if your home girl talks to Buddy on the team, they're best friends. They want to go. Right. She could go. Right. She could go, but I let me. You know what comes with that? I do. Nothing. What? Tell me. Tell me what comes with Not it. Not a go goddamn thing. Oh, Talk like oh, me. she coming with her home girl. She yes, and that's when it goes back to trust. Not that's if it's an away game and you don't even get to see the players. Yeah. So so. Oh, yeah. Yo, you're so <laughs> negative, Julian. That goes back to the insecurity thing. I mean... No, in fact. And, and trust. If I trust, I mean, that's no problem. Yeah, my girl look good. Now, of course, niggas don't get at her. if I to believe that she might, then I shouldn't even be with her. Exactly. Simple. <laughs> I said, Didn't I just say this, y'all? Anyway. Hold on. Have, let me just... Go ahead. Go ahead. On. Hypothetically, your girl went to... went Her homegirl talked to a dude off the Buffalo Bills. Mm. She going with her homegirl to, to Buff... They got a, they got a game. They got it. Um, and then you trust her. Mm. You're not insecure. Mm. But let's just say like. She used to date a player on the bills. Her ex is there. I wasn't even going to oh. go that extreme. That's kind of extreme. Not, that's okay. Not, that's real life. <laughs> so I'm going to give you two scenarios. One. Boom. Her ex. Her ex also plays for the bills. That's one scenario. You can answer that and I'll give you the next scenario. Okay. This is what's going to happen. He He's probably going to try to talk to her. Is going to be the same regardless whether she had an ex on the team or not. Someone's going to try to talk to her, and it's either whether I trust her to talk to him or not. I don't think she's going to talk to him. That's just how I feel. And if I do, then that's a problem. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, being that you've never been in a situation, how do you how do you see yourself handling the situation? Like, just saying hypothetically, if it was to happen, where. He tried to talk to her and... I wouldn't be mad at him for trying to talk to her. I would expect that. Okay. That's what's supposed to happen. It comes in... What you know, comes, you know what he's, he's giving me Ray vibes. <laughs> no, what comes into play is her response. And even any even the girl I'm talking to now, I know how hard it was for me to talk to her. I've seen her move out. I already know that that's unlikely that anything is going to happen. And if I have to question it, that's what I'm saying. That's when it comes down to trust. Whoever I'm with, I don't want to have to question whether or not they might cheat on me. Even when I was in a, my my one and only relationship, I never at any point thought she was cheating on me. Nigga, you at was in that bitch for three months. <laughs> is three months not an opportunity for somebody to cheat? People cheating far less. The but point remember, I'm they have a talking phase before like, the relationship. Yeah, which I'm not including. But um, in the three months, yeah. So like, yeah, I never at any point felt like she I'm a, was, I. You know what I and think mind you was long distance too. She could have. <laughs> I mean, I trusted her. You can't have something like that, especially long distance, without trust. I think, and that's why it's so hard to get back with somebody or to rebuild trust because once it's broken, now that's a different story. Mm. But I think where <laughs> Julian is coming from is in a place that I always come from. It's easy to say that until the person you love breaks the trust. Mm. But you um, still love them. And you still love them. And you still feel like, okay, maybe we can work this out. Yeah, that's a fucked up situation. <laughs> and he's like, and I won't be in it. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up situation. Um, but that's, My, so coming from that perspective, viewers, we're not judging you. We're just saying that, yeah, we all get it. Being with somebody that who's broken the trust, it does get hard. But it's if you're going to be with them. You cannot beat them over the head with that fucking stick of what so they So you did. want you want me to tell my trust issues are not like in the car me and so I was talking. My trust issues are not really personal. They're really general. Like I had this conversation with Malik all the time. I don't think I can say a hundred percent trust any woman. Yeah, but Julian, you allow weird shit too. Like, I don't know if you're still okay with this, but he's like well, you know, if my girl uh, wants she, to go on a date with Floyd, <laughs> and said, Floyd get at my girl, <laughs> he's gonna say he. G, Julian says wow. she could go on the date the and get me. some food, That's the, and, and shit, bring that shit back. He a simp. And let me let me. Say, it's a it's a easier said than done because I haven't been in any of these situations. So it's easy for me to be like, oh yeah, I could trust her, or this wouldn't bother me, or if uh, that's what she, she was saying, you ain't want to watch yet. She, yeah, if she cheated on me, you know, I would just be done with it. But I love her, like I feel you, mm-hmm. but um. I guess I won't know until I know. But what I know now is that... I like, I put my trust in my niggas. Oh, sad. 
Is that sad? I mean, yeah, people are people. <laughs> no, people. <laughs> it don't matter, guy, girl. People of course, are, and know. I've been I've been betrayed before too. But I'm just saying, I I feel more comfortable putting my trust in it. Do you mean this? I have this rule where I hold my girls to a higher standard. Yeah, we I talked about that. Me. Yeah. Okay, I do. I it's maybe it's the programming of life, but what what do you think is more likely? Your girlfriend, your girlfriend doing something that is betraying your trust or your homeboy? Which one's more likely? Like, I'm saying your close home, not just a rent, like, not like me and you, but I'm saying like whoever your best friend is that's a guy or closest friend that's a guy. Like, do you think, do you think it's more liable for... I, I don't know. Cause if it's I mean, my, clearly... Because if it's my girl, it's a different... It, it, for me, it's different. Like, people just be dating people. Like, people have a girlfriend or boyfriend for two years and then someone else for a couple months and then another one. Like, me, if I'm going to be with somebody, it's because I want to be with them forever. And I, trust, and I trust with them unequivocally. That's why I've been single so far. It's not by chance that I've only had one girlfriend. It's by choice. You know? So if I can't see myself marrying the person and even... Then you shouldn't be with yeah, them. Yeah, and even the one... It's true. And even the, and that, even the I've only one, had three girlfriends. But here's the thing. And, even and, the, and you're still with you're still with I'm not. I'm not with. And not technically. Even the one relationship I was, I was in, I tried something. It wasn't someone I could see myself. I didn't know if I could see... I didn't know if I would be with her you forever. Just, but I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm... What? What was I? 26, 27? I'm like, let me try something new. You know? Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to be with somebody, it's going to be with someone I want to be with forever. So if you're comparing them to my best friend, and I guess you could say yeah. my wife, I would try... I mean... Same I would standard. Trust, yeah. Same standard. So, so it's not, more, a, it's not a, a question of more likely or not. This is a same. juicy one. How long do you feel like it takes for a man to know if somebody is going to be his wife or could be his wife? <laughs> so, wow. That's a great question. Great question. If I answer now, I'd be making it up as I go. Go ahead. <laughs> um, you want people to book you as a lawyer, don't you? Man, I think I think, <laughs> you, I think you just know. That sounds cliche, but yeah. Even the people I know that are in a relationship, um, you know, especially people I know who used to be, you know, real wild before, and I ask them, you know, what was it about her or whatever, whatever they say, I don't know. It just happened. I just knew, you know. So it sounds cliche, but I think you just, I think it's just something different. You feel it, you know. You, Julian. I think. Now this is this is thirty year old Julian talking. I feel like you thirty. Yeah, Child. I feel like like I have to. I can only know, and if seeing how I feel after certain shit happens, and and after I go through stuff, like if I feel like the love is still unconditional and nothing changes, like with my heart, then I feel like that's an indicator. It might not be okay. If, go I'm gonna play therapist, Julian. Oh, this this is my favorite part of the show. I think that yeah. sometimes that is a toxic place for you to go from. Based what? What's a toxic place? You kind of might be judging your love based on like issues. Like if you still feel the same after a huge issue, that's what you said, right? Not saying that I'm anticipating issues. No, I'm not saying you're anticipating. I'm saying you know for real, for real, if your love is at its top tier based on how you feel after an issue. Is that what you said? I'm only speaking on the past. I'm not saying like if I was to meet a girl, I'm waiting for that issue to happen. I'm just saying based off the past, the past relationships that I've been in, like that's when you knew. That's when I did know. Basically. Okay, and so again, playing therapist, sometimes I think with you, it's just more your attachment to people mm -hmm. and having the relationship and not starting over than it is necessarily love. I think if sometimes if there was more self love included, mm -hmm. you probably wouldn't feel like that. You don't think you have self love? I don't I don't doubt that. But I don't she, think it's she's not the second enough. person that's told me that. Her her and Ray. Her and Ray have told me that. I think that he's a Scorpio too, right? Ray. Smart. Yeah. Anyway. Um <laughs> Um I don't doubt that you love yourself, but it's kind of sometimes when we break things down, you'd be like, damn. I didn't realize I wasn't that that confident because you you think of yourself as a very confident person. Most people think of you as that. But what I've realized even with myself is after going through trials, a lot of people use the term like, yeah, we've been through so much. The love is so real because even after all of that, it's still there. And some of that just has to do more with your attachment than it has to do with love. And there's, cer and there's certain things that happen in our life probably from childhood. Like your example, your parents put you through certain, we don't call it traumatic, okay. but... you saying real shit. That's yeah, your parents put you through certain things, tests, trials, whatever that you go through, and they call it love. Like, I even have this rule in my brain, like, 
When you beat your child and you tell them it's because you love them, don't be surprised if they're in an abusive relationship and kind of passes it off as, you know, like, this is just what happens when you deeply care. You've, it's, it's, it's programmed in kind of your brain. So I'm saying sometimes just be wary of that. Like, is it attachment or is it? Right. So what if, like, I, I feel like everybody loves differently or everybody's like love. There is no real concrete definition. For There's love. none. So what love means to you, what love means to Caesar, what love means to me, what love means to Malik is we can have four different definitions, but we can all be right at the same. Definitely, I agree. You know what I'm saying? So I think there could be, I think there could be different different definitions of love, but it all comes down to the basic premise: it's how the person makes you feel. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So that is a definition. Love is dependent upon the per how the person makes, makes you, you feel. feel. Okay, yeah, that's now fair. You can love differently, but what love is and what makes it different is why it's what that person does for you. That's yeah. what love is. Yeah. So I don't. So I don't. So I don't ever have those battles with myself where I question if it's attachment or love because it's. I always. They do, not, but what I, I'm. You know what she's saying. I feel like a lot of people disguise something for love when it's not because of like you said everything they've been through, and mm -hmm. that's why it's so hard for people to sometimes let go of certain toxic things because they're remembering what was and not what's now, and they confuse that what was and how they felt then and everything that's happened with loving the person when they're not one and the same. They're completely different because just because someone did all this for you and you experienced all that doesn't mean you love them. But if you're continuing to hold on to that thinking that's love, and that's what affects a lot of people. And that's why it's so hard for certain people to move on. Hmm. And I think it's even harder to move on just again when I say when there's not a lot of self-love present. Because like, for instance, it seems like you have very clear boundaries. And I think I can put, I could throw myself out there. My boundaries were not very clear in the past. Like, it's kind of like, a, oh, I guess I'll deal with that. I guess I'll deal with that because I love you, because I love you. But is it because I love you or is it because I'm just attached to the situation? Yes, I still do feel for you. I do feel a certain way about you. But at what point does it, at what point is it kind of like, I'm loving myself less, loving you more? You get I mean, him. I've worked more. I take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You can take a shot today. Okay. Yeah, that was. Say that again. I should, I should write that. Down. <laughs> I need to revisit that. I say it again. I, I'm saying, at what point is it that I'm loving myself less, loving you more, and then when and then when you even get into loving someone more than yourself, I feel like that is getting away from kind of like the true essence of love. I, I, I could be wrong. Nah, you I'm loving you myself point. less, loving you more. Whoa, you on point? I'm about to make a shirt. Hold on, yeah, <laughs> he you, hyping me. <laughs> okay, I hope it hit for y'all too. You in a little too. Oof, like that. Take a shot, viewers, if you can relate. If you're loving yourself less by loving somebody Man, more, take maybe a shot. That's why it hit me like that because I think I've been there before. Yeah. Man, when the hell you been there? Before? He knows. <laughs> he wasn't in a relationship. Yeah, but, but you don't got to be in one. You don't got to be in a relationship to love someone. You know, I would say. Oh, hey, I know. So I know. <laughs> the <definitely>, shade. <laughs> we're definitely not talking about that. But um, no, I was, talk, I was referring to myself. Okay, good. Um, so yeah, I used to. There was this one time I thought I was in love, right? And I realized that you cannot be in love if somebody doesn't love you back, because the type mm. of love you feel when that when it's reciprocated is completely different. It's more so an infatuation when it's just one sided. But that love you feel when somebody loves you back is a complete beat. Before you respond, can you read your your uh, IG? Oh, I, I'll read already. it. I'll read it for you. So it probably it probably expired. Probably, but it's a good segue into the next. So Julie, says, I can just tell you, it says the okay. person who loves less controls the relationship. Okay. So Julian feels that the person that loves less controls relationships. He's just basically said it's not really true love when it's one sided. I'm going to respond to Julian. When I seen his Insta story, I said, that's a lie. And, and the I reason said big facts. I, and the reason why I immediately said that's a lie is because we tend to say things based on our present situation. C's brought up earlier in the situation. There are lots of girls with men for money, for financial gain. A lot of times there is no love in it for real, for real. You get what I'm saying? And the man is still controlling the relationship mm -hmm. because he has the money. But is it the does, man in love? I think that quote, see, that's, 
I wouldn't call it an exception. Speaking to the mind. I think that quote's more so assuming that both people are in the relationship because they want to be with each other, not for some material right, yeah. aspect. Let's okay. You know what I'm saying? So, so going from that stance, both people are in the relationship because they want to be with each other, but the person who controls the relationship is the person that... Loves less. Hmm. Because I, I the reason... All right, let me tell y'all why, the reason why I feel like it's factual because I would say the person, and I could be speaking from my own experiences, the person who, who does love more is going to make more decisions based off their heart. It's, it's basically, you make decisions, to me, a human makes decisions based off the heart or the mind. But, okay, so this is the confusing What's good? part. It's because your boy both Julian. you can love each other, I know but you're y'all just like saying what y'all you love more. So both of you are making it from the heart. But if you want look, the rest of the episode, it's going to be available I'm exclusively on Patreon. So, so, so make sure you go to ShotsOfHonesty.com and subscribe to our Patreon for all the bonus and exclusive content. 90% of her decisions is made with leading with her heart. Mm-hmm. And 50% of my decisions is made leading with my heart. That means the other 50% I'm leading with my mind. So it's like, it's bringing back the rationality. To, you you feel me? Like when you're in love, like you have impaired visions of things. You Just like you said, like. I think, I think that goes back to what I just said in terms of loving yourself less. I don't think it's who loves necessarily less in the relationship. I think it, it's really that thing of boundaries and self-love because you can love more in the relationship. And if a person loving you less means their behavior is affecting things negatively, you can walk away. I see girls walk away all the time because they know they love that nigga more than he'll ever love them. Facts. I mean, he'll ever love the girl. No, yeah. No. So so that's what I'm saying. It's it's not even necessarily a control of the relationship. It just depends on how much you value I yourself. Mean, I don't know. I mean, it's sad, but it's the person who loves more is always more vulnerable. For you not to love the that's, same, yeah. That's basically, okay, vulnerable. Okay. Yeah. So, so he, here's the problem: if you love less, not to say you both can't love each other, but whoever loves less, even like you know, it's like a little game you play. Even when you're trying to talk to someone, whoever likes a person more is losing. It's like a seesaw: you do too much, mm-hmm. you're too emotionally invested. If you love less, or you don't like someone as much, or you don't care as much, then a lot of things are like whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, it's right. like, oh, stand you up. Okay, whatever. On to the next one. If you love that person more, it's like, damn, you stand me up. You're hurt. It bothers you, whatever. Just giving an example it could be many yeah. things. But that's the, prob- that's the problem with it. So that's why I think in the quote, like, who, who uh, what was it? Controls more? Or what was Controls it? a relationship. Controls a relationship. Yeah, when you don't care, it's easy. Nothing bothers you. Yeah. Nothing or bothers not you. Or not as much. Or, yeah, it doesn't bother you as much. When you care, everything's heavy. Yeah. I think the hard part for me in the quote still is like, Maybe it's a I'm very just concrete maybe quote, I'm just though. oblivious, but I can't see two people just being in a relationship. And well, I can't see it, but I, I've never experienced it in a sense where it's two people is in this relationship. Of course, somebody loves somebody more, but the love is still so strong. Like it's not fifty ninety, like yeah, you said. Exactly. I'm, yeah, it's course. more like. I mean, I eighty nine, a hundred. So it's it's you're not feeling it. So yeah. he cares if I do something. I care if he does something. I mean, ideally, it would be fifty fifty. No, I mean, I don't think we'll ever really be fifty. Yeah, I don't think it. That's why I say ideally, if it's like sixty forty. That's not enough to really feel what this quote's talking about. Yeah, what but this quote really, is talking more, about. This quote is more so like one sided. Yeah. Like okay. Yeah, it's like and it's 70, true 30. on that one sided. Yeah. 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 It's definitely true on that one-sided fact. But then it brings me to why are you... I, I don't know. Why, why are you want to stay with somebody that is not... Did y'all see the thing on Spiritual Word where the lady said, am I in love with my husband? No. Is he the best I ever had? No. He's so. not the love of my... I can't be with the love of my life. And I'm not unhappy. We've actually gotten very... Even more closer this year. But those are just the cold facts. You're, you're not always going to be with the person you're dead in love with. Yeah, I ain't like that. I didn't like it. Well, you. first of all, I that's didn't. So true. That's that's great. No, it is that's true. true? Well, no, well, look, it's it's true. But I felt like usually people don't end up with the person they love. I don't love the most. Love the most. But I don't know. I didn't. Friends, maybe my manifestation game did. Even if that's her reality, I usually. I mean, it's great if you do. Oh, okay, okay, I'm okay. Sh- I'm shooting to to get the person you know be with yeah. the person I love the most. But. Well, it's because when you're when you're noticing lack, you're gonna experience more of it. Sorry to get. And but there are a lot of variables for that too. Like just because you love somebody the most doesn't mean they're best for you. Doesn't mean you guys necessarily fit. Mm, you know that's true. Yeah, like 
<laughs> and and the, and and that and I agree with that. And that's where in the the tweet, whatever, I was like, okay, when she said she cannot be with the person that she's in love with the most. If I'm your nigga, why did you just put that on Twitter? But listen, but listen, <laughs> what if he's dead? Okay. What if he's in jail? You, you get what I'm saying? There's so many different variables. I'm not C's. I'm a little insecure. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's stupid. I'm just gonna be honest. What if he don't you got Twitter? Twitter? What if he fucking fifty? Okay. Uh, what a, it's it's so much to it, but when y'all break it down like that, yeah, you're probably not with the person you're dead in love with. But um, I just would hope that. I mean, it would be nice, but you don't usually end up with the person. I would. Uh, let's. Well, right now, Star is the only one in a relationship. Are or, you? Are you? Yeah, this week I am, guys. <laughs> so, and this is the person you most love. Yeah. So oh, here's here, here's my thing. Here's my thing, though, about my life. And I could say this. Talk to me. My life goes in stages because, as y'all know, I'm not I'm not the date. I've recently started dating this year, but I wasn't a dater. How long y'all been together? Mm, three years now. On and off. Just this year was off, but it's okay. Anyway, <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> I'm blaming <laughs> on my COVID. But, um... I will say that throughout my life, I'm very clear. Like Caesar saying, I'm very clear on who I want. If I, I could just look and know, yeah, that's going to be my man. And it's my man. It just happens. And I'm a very intentional person. So I don't, I don't ever feel like there's no situation that can keep me and the person that I want apart. And of course he loved me but and want to be with me so too. We, so we have the same, the same qualities right except you have doubt that the person feels that way about you mm, i feel like nigga who else you gonna love like i, I really feel like that I, it was so cute like when my boyfriend and i you have doubt when you're already in the relationship both i would say both and because look a lot of the time the girl doesn't like you off of it you gotta <laughs> You gotta make it work. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta make man. Yeah, you gotta make it work. And I but here's what I think you is the dif- here's the difference with me. A, me not liking you off rip is a clear indication that we're not gonna be together. That's so not true. I'm saying for, for me. Her reality, okay. For me. In I, my life, I don't there's think you can even say that, man. There's nobody the there's nobody that has pursued me and made me change your mind. Yeah. Like nigga, I, I I've been there like so there's never even before your boyfriend, there's never been a guy. She only you, had like what three boyfriends. I mean, yeah. Even, let's not even talk about boyfriend. Boyfriend is so concrete, man. We have and people that's have the, that, people have relationships without the title boyfriend and girlfriend that are are significant and meaningful in their lives. So and let's that's just what use, I'm saying. For me, that hasn't happened because if I like you, we finna be boyfriend and so girlfriend. Let me, let me, all right, let me just ask you a question. Mm-hmm. So there's never been a situation where somebody like a guy liked you mm-hmm. and you didn't like them right away and you got to know them you hung out with them more and you were like damn like you know mm. he's cool I, I like him like you, you know? know something and then you start like not saying you guys became boyfriend and girlfriend but you gave it a chance you guys started you know being sexual or physical it was cool and then of course it ended clearly you're in a relationship y'all, but I'm li- let's start off with this I'm lying I know I'm lying because <laughs> I know, y'all course. know I be forgetting shit cause I forget these niggas quick <laughs> anyway it's, it's not that quick but my college boyfriend. Like I didn't him. want him till he was like an alpha. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, however, it happened, of course. And but here's the thing. Here's the thing. It still remains that while he liked you me. Know alpha, right? Oh, congrats! Yeah, fall eleven. We, at, at, FAU. at where? FAU? FAU. Okay. Chartering y'all right. didn't come to Florida State much, huh? Uh-huh. I didn't see y'all group. A little bit. Okay. Um, it was a long drive. Yeah, it is. Um, what I can say is this. While he was pursuing me, it's when we stopped talking and I decided, hmm, I like him. That's when we started going, like dealing with each other in that way. See how messed up that is, how it had to happen. It wasn't until he stopped. And that's what I be telling this nigga Julian. That, y'all talking to me right now. I'm just, I'm just soaking all this shit because in. Because this is what I say in like, y'all know I'm Remember big on law of attraction. Remember what we were talking about earlier, this whole seesaw thing? Yeah. Whoever likes more, what, it wasn't until he stopped. Yeah, Not I'm, interested. but I'm big on law of attraction. And as I always tell y'all, when I'm worried about things, they don't come through for me. This is just outside of relationships. This is finances. This is jobs. This is whatever. The moment I fucking relax, like the key analogy I give you, when you lost your key and you're going haywire looking for it, can't find that shit. You be like, fuck it. Turn your head and sit right there on the mm. counter. As soon as you said, fuck it. And it's because you've, you've kind of allowed things to work out for you. They're going to work out for you. Like, just think of your life. Anything that bad has happened, would you say you're still successful? Yeah. 
nothing has truly worked so bad against you that's made you fail? It might have slowed some shit down, but... It but worked out. exactly. So even if the process is slower, y'all just gotta just know it's gonna work out. And if you live like that, shit don't get to you. You be like, girl, you gonna like be my girl. The fuck, we getting married, honestly. But go ahead, act dumb. I'm gonna be over here. Like it, it just don't phase you. Yep. When me, why are you laughing? Seriously, when my boyfriend and I were doing our little off thing, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna date. Fuck this, I'm gonna date. But in the back of your mind, you knew who your husband was. Here's what I will say. Every day I used to say, it's so cute. Every girl that he's talked to is just going to remind him more of why I am the best thing since bun and cheese. <laughs> like, and I just knew that. And do you want to know when we first got back together, when he came to me, he's like, honestly, I've tried with so many people and you stressful as fuck, but it's just you. And I said, I know. You know and I, you know what I say to that? Mm. As a woman, it's easy to be in that position. It's... It, I wouldn't say it's me. He the one that left me. So it's not like I dubbed him and I'm I'm running away from him. I don't him. feel like men can be in that position. Which position exactly? Because men, like you said, men pursue. But he was so not you pursuing fall back from me. A woman, she's not gonna No, he fell back. He was not pursuing me. That's what I'm saying. It was when he fell back, I was like, damn, I really do need to be with this nigga. But then you said and he, he said he you said he real he came to a realization as a man that he wants to be with you. But it was after I came to him and he turned... First, when it, the breakup was happening, I'm like, fuck, fuck, bye, out of here. Moving to Georgia, fuck all this, fuck y'all. Right. We know. We know. You know, story. acting up. Y'all see me buying the house? It's because I was just mad. Anytime a nigga pissed me off, I buy something. Shout out. I want to <laughs> give a... I'm going to take a shot to that. Shout out to Star. She got mad and she bought a house. In, <laughs> Last in time Atlanta, I got mad, I bought a, bought a car. She bought a condo I'm in sick. Atlanta. That's I'm boss. Sick. That's boss shit. <laughs> I'm sick. It's something wrong with me. But... After doing that, I was like, no, but it's ghetto. I want my man back. Atlanta, they're either gay, trying to rap. Dude, they just got a lot going on. I don't like this. I hit him like, after a month of not speaking, I hit him like, you know, I really miss you. Like, I'm going to be in Florida because of COVID, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> what, what you think about quarantine? Straight rejected. Like, re rejected. And I was kind of shocked, like, Okay, but I'm not soaking in that rejection because you still finna be my man. That's fine. It's okay. I'm just finna talk to these niggas and I better myself. You. I feel you. But why would you, you stress? You man, when I want something or someone, you can't tell me no. Yes. Bro, I'm more. But here's I'm the about, thing. You do drunk. not you do uh, not have I to want, dwell on I want, them. I don't All care right. if you I don't care how like you don't have to text her every day like yeah i want you you're gonna be mine you could even so, not talk to the girl for hear, a month i want some advice from c because y'all both be giving me advice when i he said when i want someone or something you can't tell me no basically just saying he's determined to get with you mm -hmm. not every, not on no rape vibes and no, yeah. no shit like that. don't take it the wrong <laughs> no, no, way no, no, yeah. things about consistency consistency uh persistency and timing, timing. okay so tell timing me tell me more about the timing part it might not be time for y'all. She might be talking to somebody. She might still be involved with something. She might live in LA. I mean, there's just a lot of variables, but you know, as long as you're mm, consistent. You know, you... <laughs> that was a wild live in LA. <laughs> it's as fine. long as you're consistent and persistent and the timing is right, you know, it could all work. You know, so I have then, mixed how feelings. Do you, how do you, yeah, because I was about to say, how do you feel about persistency? About space to bring you I mean, closer? You don't, you don't disrespect yourself. I mean, there's a point where like, uh, it's like, you know, like if she really don't want you, it's like, all right, it depends. Because for you to get to the point where you like someone enough to not want to give up, there's already something there. Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's not like yes. it's, it's not like it's a random person it's, like, oh, I'm going to get you. Like, no, yeah. it's like you guys, it's a real a, connection. Yeah, there's already something there. And you're just like, you know what? Like, you're the one I choose to be with. You know, so it's not like you being persistent or consistent isn't going to like annoy her or bother her or be like, yo, you're creepy. Yeah. It's just like, you know, for whatever reason, she might not want to be in a relationship. She might not be ready. She might not like you as much at the time. But with consistency and persistency and just being there and showing her how much you really care for her. Like, so I or, know. Or even, that's for me. I'm saying for me. But I mean, that's the same for you. You knew. But you here's, said this but is here's, be but my he, man. But here's what I'm going to here's what I'm going to show you in oh. me knowing for girls and guys, it's different. But in me knowing, I'm I'm going to use the alpha guy that I dated. In me knowing, I knew that I had to stop being so, quote unquote, persistent or showing that I care. Because I said, damn, when did the, when did, um, the, the college dude 
really resonate with me. The words that he said, the ways he showed me he cared, it started resonating with me when he wasn't around as much. I he agree. wasn't available to and me. And I agree with, I'm not disagreeing with you. Yeah. And, and you know, I say you show how much you care, whatever, so... I, and I hate this. This is what I hate about dating or talking or liking people. Because I hate everything at about the, dating. At the, end of, at, the end of, at the end of the day, it's still a game. It's a game. It's always a game. There's no way to like... I can't just be like, I love you. I want to be with you. And that's it. No. Because you know, sometimes you don't realize it until the person falls back. It's like, damn, they haven't texted me. Damn, I actually kind of miss them. Damn, this and that. Like Julian like, thinks why? women don't do that. They, what? Exactly. Well, they feel... Yo, they feel if they care about you. They that's the that's so what you'll know. So the guy know. that you might think is annoying that you kind of you like, know what it is. Some women are better at disguising how they oh, feel. Oh, they're way better at disguising. Talk to me. It's they're way better. They Talk are. To a a nigga, if you feel you gonna oh, text her. We hurt. Yeah, we're like, <laughs> like I can't. But a female, you'll never know. You won't know. And I only know this because they've told me after the fact. You won't know until they tell you. Like after you get her or after whatever, and they'll tell you about. Like, yeah, that one time you didn't. Yeah, I felt that. So like you were texting me good morning every day, and now all of a sudden you stop. Exactly. And like even though I didn't care then, I'm like in my head, I'm like damn. Yo, where is he? He usually texts me by exactly. now. Exactly. And it's like, damn, like he was really there for me. And then, then they start realizing, and then they might hit you up. I told him that. Whoa. Uh, one of my guy friends told me. Hold up, on, hold on. Star got guy friend. Not Malik. Friend. <laughs> Dom, you so know what the fuck I mean. <laughs> you know what the fuck I mean. Well, a so guy told me. I'm not. I'm not. Oh. A guy told me he was oh, oh, DMing. <laughs> he was DMing a girl, heavy. Finally got her number, texting her every day, and it was kind of like dry. She's making excuses. Da, 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 da. He's like, you know, fuck this. Stop hitting her. And then she hits him like, yo, what happened you to know, you? You know how much I do? <laughs> I'm not gonna say any names, but um, it's happened a lot. It's crazy how much that works. There's this one girl I was after forever, mm -hmm. forever, forever. It was that when we was back at FAU, and one day, like, it was actually at a probate, a probate. I saw her, and I just went off on her. I'm like, yo, this is bullshit. I'm da -da 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 -da. you over here dating, da -da -da, whatever, whatever. Like, like, fuck that. Like, I'm over. I'm done. Next thing you know, that's how I got her. <laughs> that's my goal. She's like. She's like, yeah, when you went off on me, I really, you know, realized and thought, I'm like, you know what, let me give it a chance. Mm -hmm. And it took me, because other before that, I was on some, like, you know, I was simp shit, you know? Like, like I'll wait, yeah, I'm yeah, chilling. Yeah, whatever. And then I went off on it. That's all it took. But it's crazy, like, you gotta... But, okay, like, it's two things let's take away from this, y'all. It's what I say. Value yourself. That self-love, like, I'm not dealing with this shit no more. It you it hurts me too. Like you're telling me yeah, no, no, this, this, exactly. this. No, I don't want to do that. I'm not wasting my time. It's it's okay to make a person feel loved and that you care, but you also have to show them I value my time and, and myself as a priority. Yourself. When you respect yourself and they mm -hmm. see that, they're like, oh, I can't play with this nigga. He might actually leave for real. Let me <laughs> let me get right. If she really wants to be with you. And that's what I said. I no, I said this to myself. Now I said this to myself. I said mm -hmm. if a person knows guy or girl it doesn't matter in a situation that you're never going to leave like it's, mm -hmm. it's like a why like, would they act right right exactly then secondly outside of that y'all know when you let things go you're not letting go of what you want you're just letting it go like it's gonna work out i don't got time to figure out how it's gonna work out but she knows I love her. You've shown your character as a man. Let's say you're the type of person, you open the door, y'all been on a date before. She knows that you're respectable. Y'all connected, you, as he said. To feel that way, y'all have connected before. You don't need to prove anything else to her. I think sometimes we get in this she rat race of is. proving, oh no, she just needs to see more that I'm better than this. He just needs to see more that I'm better than that. Nah, they know already. But what's really going to bring it in their mind is when you back the fuck up and focus on you. You can't expect someone to focus on you when you're focused on them. No. You have to put yourself you first. Could, you could always tell like when it happens because you know, you'll, you'll respect yourself and you'll let them know. Like, at least me. Like, if I'm trying, I'm going to let you. Like, before I cut you off, I'm going to let you know what it is. And by her response, you'll be able to know. Either she'll let you go. you like, all right, cool. Whatever. Or she'll be like, oh, no, you know. The, 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 okay, I won't so, flex. So. I'm the type to let you go. Okay, and? You be putting up a front. One month in? Oh, All right, well, babe. Babe. If, if it I, might be too late, ain't it? Wait, yeah, you know, I, I be tripping. If I, if I pull the trigger and I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm done. Like, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to respect myself. And you let me go, it's over. I be tripping, but one thing I can say is the reason I'm tripping is because I'm weighing my options. So the fact that you're just an option, it's not, as, as you said, it's not as speedy because a person is giving 30, so it doesn't matter as much. Now, the fact that I'm that nigga's only option, like, to be with in a relationship, not girls, 
Of course, yeah, it's gonna should, be more pressed. Talk to me. Cause I, I always say this. I would say a, a guy always knows. Yeah. Like at least for me. Like for example, if I want to be with a girl, there's a girl I want to be with. I'm in her ear, like, yo, I want to be with you. Da 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 da. Whatever, whatever. You're the one I want to be with. I could have other girls I'm talking to, and they want to be with me. My response to them is, oh, I don't want to be in a relationship, whatever, whatever. It's not that I don't want to be in a relationship, so I don't want to be in a relationship with, with you. you. Yeah. But I feel like a guy always knows the girl that he would be in a relationship with. Okay. Would you agree with that? I agree. Is it the same for females? I think so. I I mean, I don't want to answer on behalf of yeah, a female, but especially in this day and age, I think so. Um, you see like how y'all said sometimes as a female, the guy you're pursuing and then you're, the girl's not really interested. Mm. It's because at that point, we don't know that we want to be with you. It's after a while, you said something, showed something, and you, you want to be with them. And you say, I guess that's what I'm Because like usually off like, I want to say off rip, but more often than not, I know if I'm, if I either just want this girl for fun or I actually want to be with this girl. But here's yeah. what I was going to say. Like but here's what I was going to say. It, sometimes it is. I think it's situational. Because like I said, for me... I'll meet a guy and know, like, yeah, you finna be my man. Uh, there's this girl that went viral on Twitter the other day. She has a baby, kids, cute YouTube family with a guy. Her best friend said, the day that I introduced them, she was just whispered to me, like, that's going to be my husband. Yeah. And he felt the same way. He told his friend the same thing. So it was just mutual. But it doesn't always work out that way to get to that same place. I don't know. I feel like my boyfriend didn't know that he was going to want to be with me. You feel like you knew before he knew. Oh, yeah. I did. He didn't see that vision at all. He was he was like, Julian, I came into a relationship with four people. I was like, okay, cool. Let's see how this works. But during the time when I was in a relationship, I'm like, yeah. Finish your drink. What's up? All right. Last segment. Last quick segment. I just want to know. We all popular in our own respective rights. For whatever we do, I just wanted to know. Like, I have a question for Star actually. What's good? It's your boy Julian. I know y'all like what y'all hearing with this episode of the podcast, but if you want the rest of the episode, it's gonna be available exclusively on Patreon. So make sure you go to shotsofhonesty.com and subscribe to our Patreon for all the bonus and exclusive content.